Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bitsby Trippman. Glad to have you back. We're going to get right into this one. This one is a quick one on Bitcoin mining. We have been getting a ton of correspondence related to questions on the farm that we're putting together. You guys, if you guys follow us on Twitter, you see that we have some containers that have been delivered at our new substation site. And uh, questions with like, why are you, you guys are doing Bitcoin mining now for, you know, since 2013, I've been showing you guys how to mine, not just Bitcoin, but pretty much across the whole entire stack when it comes to proof of work coins. And people are like, what's, what's going on? Like, you know, can I get into Bitcoin mining? How, who do I buy from? There's so much confusion related to that. The prices have changed a lot. So this video, we're going to go through essentially kind of what are you looking for and how do you make a judgment call if you are going to get into Bitcoin mining? Because there is, it's, there's some nuance to it that I want to make sure is perfectly clear for people that may have not done some exploration on, you know, the sound and the power requirements and that sort of thing. And then ultimately, who is a trusted source in the space that you could buy equipment from and make sure that it shows up and all that fun stuff. So let's get into this. So uh, if you guys are not following us on Twitter, you should follow us on Twitter. They kind of get you guys some insight to what's coming up in our space. But when it comes to Bitcoin mining, so in May of last year, the China shut down. China t cut the cord, as it were, for miners in China. And it really opened up the doors for the rest of the world. You know, the, these units, the Bitmain and the MicroBT units that you use for the SHA-256 mining for Bitcoin, that's the algorithm that's used, is by and large was built in China and was sold to Chinese buyers. And once China shut down, the opportunity, the fair market opportunity I talk about all the time about cryptocurrency and proof of work mining really comes down to the ability to participate. It's one of the, the largest features that I would say with cryptocurrencies, the ability to participate with no strings attached. Meaning you buy a piece of equipment, you give it power, and you get a token for that effort. You're the security portion of that network. Bitcoin now, by and large, can be ran by anybody out there you get there's equipment available and that's one of the biggest keys so we had a, a geopolitical change uh indirectly people all around the world to be able to buy up this equipment so you have different brokers and vendors that take different approaches some things are hosted solutions some things are where you can purchase and you set it up yourself and there's lots of different entities that are coming together to try to build larger farms using available power. And that's one of the sticky points uh, that we'll get into with our farm and several others that are trying to spin up and get large too, is the there's a huge amount of reality that people I think run into when it comes to trying to build big farms. Um, the, a lot of it has to do with the power. But if you're sitting here watching this video and you're like, man, you know, I, I could build a mining rig. I'm worried about ETH 2.0 taking out all of the uh, potential revenues of the return on that investment. And you're like, uh, but I like the concept of mining because, you know, the the fact that you can participate and you're paid in a token and there's not a lot of, you know, middle rent seeking in the sources. You are upholding the network and the security and that, that really pulls a cord with you to participate. And this is definitely the video for you because you want to know more about where can you purchase a piece of equipment and given your particular situation, you know, is it something that you'd co-host? Is it something that you should, um, you know, can you do it in your your house? Is there somebody that you know that has better power and you can work an arrangement out with them? That sort of thing. So let's first start with a couple of the key elements when it comes to Bitcoin mining. First and foremost, with any mining in general, including and especially Bitcoin because it uses a lot more power, is your ops cost. You got to watch your ops cost. And what that is really is your power cost. Um, and most power costs is 12 to 13 cents. This is US dollar equivalent cents per kilowatt. Uh, some folks have nine cents. Some folks have eight cents that are in better areas uh, that have more um, opportunity at, you know, waste energy or energy they can't use, meaning like 
There's a lot of renewable, they overbuilt, and now they have to turn things off because they overbuilt, there's not enough demand. So then you have a quote unquote waste energy. You don't have anywhere to go with it, but the renewable source you can't turn off. Uh, if it's like solar and it's sunny outside and you have lots of solar panels, but you have no storage, you can find situations where there might be an opportunity to buy at a cheaper rate and get that down to that, you know, eight cents, seven cents, even six cents per kilowatt in a commercial uh, world. Like if you have a small business and you want to put some rigs in five, six months ago, we were working on negotiating rates around three and a half cents per kilowatt. Well, those have since now came up. We have some inflation going on here in the States and now those rates are starting to get up in around that four cents, five cent area. Uh, if you have a high demand, it really comes down to your core cost. The average, most, most people are paying seven and a half to eight cents that get the best deals. And that is a critical, critical thing is if you're, especially if you're going all in and you're, you're building out a bigger farm, you really got to consider that ops cost. Um, and then the other one part, and especially for like the smaller farms or just, you know, the onesie twosies, you know, you want to participate in this space and you're like, you know what, I got enough that I'll dedicate one rig, you know, I'll spend $8,000 and buy a Bitcoin miner. What else do I have to consider? Well, these things use a lot of power. So they need at least a 208, which is not your normal 110 connection at 30 amp. So a 208, 130, uh, 208 30 or a uh, two, uh, 240 at 30 amp is sufficient enough to handle one ASIC. Uh, and you're going to need one for each ASIC. So if you're going to have, you know, four or five ASICs, you're essentially going to light up that, you know, the 200 amp panel that you have in your house pretty quick. You're going to be able to get a max of probably three in a typical home at max before you're really at that edge of risking turning on the dryer and turning on a couple other things in the house and just overloading your 200 amp panel. So you really want to focus that this is like a one or a two ASIC kind of event for a normal typical home without really putting a lot of stress on your power panel, especially if you have a electrical car too. And you need, you know, if you have a Tesla and you have a, a Tesla power wall and, uh, you know, a charger for your car and you're charging your Tesla on, you know, 60 plus amps, Plus, you're having an ASIC running 30. You're using half of your panel constant, right? So you, you got to look at, for that. Um, so any kind of expansion at home, you got to look at uh, that kind of thing. And then lastly, I would say is making sure that you get a decent rate for the piece of equipment. You know, we're by and large talking about Bitcoin on this one, but finding a vendor that can take care of that for you. Show you guys some of the options. You know, some, some folks think that, oh, man, I got to come up with the $8,000 right away. You know, they do have finance options. You do have pay over time options. And if you don't have the power, there's also hosted solutions there too. So they actually have miners that it's your miner. It's hosted in another location with a better rate. So if you're at paying four or five cents more than them, it ends up being worth that hosting cost. Because one thing that's not calculated all the time is the other parts of the effort that you have to do. Make sure it's clean and maintenance that miner and or if you have an issue you have to deal with it so it's kind of like changing your oil yeah you can do it you can buy the oil and the filter or you can have somebody do that and you're going to pay a service fee for that so understanding kind of the the hands-on piece too as part of that cost so if you can get that lower rate on the power cost and then the delta ends up being around the same um, you know cost in total like if you had 11 cents per kilowatt and you're like, well, wait a minute here. If I was paying 11 cents per kilowatt, why is it the same price at seven and a half cents with something like Compass? Well, you're getting that that management fee there that you're paying too for the maintenance of it. But you don't have all that maintenance. You don't have to do all that stuff. So th there's, uh, you know, it's a do your own research type of thing. And it really comes down to your particular situation. When we talk to people, you know, that reach out and want to, you know, an hour with us or a couple hours to kind of talk through before they go make a big financial decision, it's like, what you know from a mining aspect that is not a financial advisor however do do a lot pretty much uh everything when it comes to mining and can help guide you guys on at least the do's and don'ts of mining uh but if we have a, con a consultation call this is what we're talking about we're talking about you know what's your situation do you have the power does it make sense or does it make sense for more of a hosted solution so this is the stuff that i'm talking about and let's take a look let's pivot Let's take a look at Compass Mining's website real quick 
and then just talk through some of the stuff that they have available that maybe you, you've heard about it, but you really haven't checked out the site. Let's take a little, little walkthrough on it. All right. So now we're here on the whiteboard and we're looking at Cup as a site. So right when you come here, you have a hardware solution. They have the features ASICs, which allow you to pick up an ASIC and a hosted solution here. And you know, the latest Antminer S19 XP is the tip of the spear. It is 140 terahash for 3000 watts. Why is that relevant? Is because if you're using a hosted solution paying seven and a half cents per kilowatt, you're doing it that seven and a half cents per kilowatt on that 3000 watts to give you kind of a calculation of what that base cost on power is gonna be. Now those are a little higher in expense. They're again, the latest and most efficient ASICs and that's around that $14,600 right now in the price. The one thing I will say about prices, especially in the Bitcoin world is the prices of the hardware goes a lot along with the price of Bitcoin coin in the ups and downs. So when Bitcoin was around 59 to 63,000, these S19 J Pro 104s were around 10 to $11,000. And right now with Bitcoin being around 40, they've came down to that $8,700. So you actually have, um, uh, you know, a, a much more price effective deal compared to somebody that was buying back in December because it does go with the price of Bitcoin, where the demand is a little lower on these when Bitcoin's, you know, in a 20% drop type of situation. So if we go and look at some of the facilities on the hosted solution that Compass has, so you can see some of these different solutions, a lot of uh, areas in Canada. Uh, we have uh, one here in Nebraska, it looks like, uh, Alabama, and you can see these different farms of where their different solutions are at. And these are where the, the physical machines would be hosted that you'd purchase, and that way you have some kind of spatial awareness of where your machine is at. Again, on the hardware, there is the mining at home to where you can just go buy the equipment itself and ship it to your house and then set it up yourself. And so Compass ends up being that facilitator to get you that hardware. You know you know that it's coming from a company that is trusted and known from us and other folks out there that have you know talked about their services here. And you know they have the What's Minor Micro BT content with $6,500. Now that's 88 terahash for 3,300 watts of power. So you can see the efficiency difference between like a 104 which is using, you know, it's getting 104 terahash for 3,100 watts, where this one's getting 88 for 3,300 watts. You're just paying a little more. Now, if you do the algebra on it, you know, it ends up being the micro BT ends up being a little better deal, but again, your yields will be a little lower and it all comes back down to how much yield do you have over a long period of time in relation to what Bitcoin does from a pricing standpoint. And that's really kind of the, the game you play with that on if you're gonna hold on to your coin and take you know the long game on it as an investment vehicle so it's you know these other uh, units here are different networks so you have the gold shell and the antminer t3 so if you click on that particular one you can see an 81 um, terahash unit that uses a little less power but not near the efficiency uh, comparable to the the other ones it's all about availability though sometimes it, all you got is these options and you got to look at what what is available there uh, in that that site but wanted to take you through just a baseline of the difference so you have hosted solutions here and then you have your mining at home solutions here, which these units would be shipped straight to your house. That's just a quick walkthrough on the site just to kind of help get you past that, you know, click and seeing if you want to scroll on or what are you looking at when you look at that site. So just wanted to give the folks that are reaching out to us. Now, the, the, any of the clicks that you have when you go down in the description and you click, these are not affiliate links. I don't have a direct affiliate affiliate link for compass mining, but do tell them if you reach out to their salespeople. And I always recommend, I never, I never personally go YOLO, just order and don't talk to anybody, especially if I'm spending $8,000, I want to talk to somebody. So, you know, click on that, give them a ring, uh, have a conversation with them, let them know your situation and see what's best from a tailored solution for you. And then let them know, let you get, let them know that you know uh, you saw this video and you just you got questions and Bitsby Trippin sent you over there. I do appreciate that if you do send that over to them. That way they know kind of the you know engagement from us. Uh, again, it's not affiliate. Like we don't have an affiliate link for Compass Mining. It's just you know I've known Wit for a while, and we 
I see what they're trying to do with this and trying to really make sure from a decentralized standpoint, people have an opportunity to buy and create that brokership that allows a seamless, you know, transaction with, you know, trying to complete the deal for you. So hope you guys like this one. Wanted to kind of just answer the call on the emails that we get related to where to go and why somebody, what somebody should be looking at on this. Hopefully you guys like this type of video and make sure you're liking and subscribing my dudes. Peace.